Today, I am going to solve a problem on 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement in phenyl porphyrogenic ether. You can find this problem in CA 78 exam 2012 June. Here is the problem when this phenyl and porphyrogenic ether is treated with diethyl aniline and acetic anhydride, what is the product? And what is the stereochemistry of the products? The given options, you can find all the four options, they are allenes. So two double bonds, they are connected by a carbon that is called allene. Which product will form and what will be the stereochemistry of that allene? If you look at this compound, basically it is phenyl porphyrogenic ether. You may know that allyl vinyl ether will undergo Claisen rearrangement. In Claisen rearrangement, we use allyl vinyl, but instead of allyl, now we have porphyrogenic. That is nothing but triple bond then one carbon this compound also can undergo 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement to give the corresponding rearranged product so a bond this bond will break and a new bond will form here and one of this bond will migrate to give allene now what will be the product what will be the stereochemistry of the product Since O phenyl it is in the plane of the paper, it prefers to attack from that side, not from the opposite direction. So when it migrates here, what we get? Phenyl it is written as such, methyl it is backside. Now this becomes allene. Now since it is attacking from the top, we get like this. Now, this rearranges to give phenol. When this is treated with a base NN diethyl aniline and acetic anhydride, OH becomes OAC. So it is getting acylated. So this is the product. During the rearrangement, the orientation of this phenyl and methyl it is not affected so we get this product now what is the stereochemistry whether it is R or S what is the configuration of this compound In order to assign R and S configuration for allene or spiro compounds or substituted by phenyls, you should be able to view the molecule in front of you. Then only you can do that without mistake. These compounds, they have chiral axis. The axis is here. The group which have been mentioned with thick line and thin line they are perpendicular to the plane of the paper that is phenyl is like this and methyl is below the plane of the paper. These two groups they are on the plane of the paper. Now you have to view the molecule 
from one side you can view from here as well as from here you will get the same configuration first I try from this side from my left hand side and I threw the molecule I look the molecule through the axis when I see like that towards my right hand side I can see phenyl ring towards my left there will be methyl so I view the molecule from here since phenyl is like this and methyl is the bottom towards my right hand side I will get phenyl towards my left there will be methyl so I write that first phenyl to my right and methyl to my left and I, I, I give priority since it is phenyl gets higher priority than this one then I go further I look through this I come to the next carbon atom in that on the top there is so when I see through this it goes to my top and this one bottom so they I have this group to my bottom I have hydrogen so this gets higher priority now so 3 and 4 remember you should not draw all the sub groups then assign priority you should not do like that first you have to give priority 1 and 2 for the groups attached to this carbon then 3 and 4 here so now I go through this I omit 4 1 2 3 so this is R so that is the configuration of this compound you can also view from here it is possible you can view from here also if I view the molecule from here still I should get the same configuration that is R let us try that also when I look from here first will I will come across this carbon which has this two hydroxyphenyl and hydrogen this will be on the top and this will be at the bottom so I write the two groups here so this gets higher priority then this gets lowest priority 1 and 2 then I go further towards my left I will see phenyl towards my right I will see methyl so in any case when you see from here phenyl will be towards your right but when you see from here it will be on your left so now I give priority 3 and 4 4 you should not consider try to connect 1 2 3 so I get R again so the stereo chemistry it is R if you give priority after writing all the four groups or atoms then it will be wrong now you can see the R stereo chemistry is there so either 1 or 3 should be the correct answer here methyl and phenyl so methyl and phenyl it is there in this they have changed that phenyl is thin line and methyl is thick line so this is wrong in the starting material phenyl it is thick line so in the product also it should be retained so this one so answer is 1 thank you for watching have a nice day